Hello guys, I'm here back again uh, doing a geo install. Yesterday we did a coil replacement. Here's an install. It's a uh, it's in a basement of a new house. It's a carrier geo. Uh, we're doing the fusion pipe, so we're gonna give you a little lesson how to do fusion here in a couple minutes. Here's the iron. It needs to get up to about 500 degrees. It's super hot. Let me just get it off here. That's pretty much the iron. Don't touch it or you'll have a mark for the rest of your life. Sorry about the video here. But pretty much going to do a fusion in a very tight space right up here. And uh, a good friend of mine, Bobby, is helping me out today. And we're going to do it right now. So stay tuned and just watch. And I'm not sure if we'll get any comments in here. All right, so you want to cut that off? I already cut it. Oh, it you did? Be, it should be right ready to go when we get it here. It should be right down the wall. Okay. Do you want to go the other way? Yeah, I need to get that in between too. Let's go. Come on, Bobby. Can't wait all day. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much, you stick in. If you look, there's a female on the male side. You stick in the male into a coupling or 90 or whichever fitting you have, and then the female you stick it onto a pipe. Right here is a tool that pretty much measures how deep we want the pretty much the joint to be. Then we take it off. Then we go ahead. Just wash your hands. There we go. Here we go. And we put it on slowly. We push it. See how it's pushing? Alright there we go. You got the 90 in? Yep. All right, now we count to 15. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now we take it off. Now take off the 90. And now uh, we're gonna Bobby's gonna give us a hand here and we're gonna hold it in place for 30 seconds now so let's count to 30 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And now we take off the clamp here and we got a perfect fusion. And that's pretty much how you do a fusion. And uh, so hopefully you guys learned something and stay tuned for the next video.